uh, Uganda has been doing well in terms of uh, reaching children with, with, with vaccines. It's different for different antigens, but we do have generally more than 90% coverage for uh, immunizations in, in, in different antigens, in, in some of the antigens we follow. But as uh, you would expect, the last mile is always more difficult. I mean, reaching the, those that are at, in remote areas, in hard to reach areas, again, the refugee populations in border districts. That's where, where the struggle is now. The last five, ten percent of children that have been missed are those in hard to reach areas, hard to reach populations, remote communities, border areas. We, we are uh, expecting to improve our capacity in delivering vaccines to these remote communities by making use of uh, this uh, type of fridge that are uh, that do not require electricity and that are easier to use in remote communities. For example, for Uganda in DRC with DRC or uh, South Sudan, where the health facilities will not have an easy access to electricity or any other form of power to, to keep their fridges working. And those type of facilities actually provide services to the local community as well as to I mean, a huge number of refugee population that keeps on coming from, from both countries. Uh, so by having this type of bridge basically installed in such areas, we are actually availing services both to the host community as well as to the refugee population, which, we, we, which basically means one, of course, you protect children from vaccine-preventable diseases, but you are also in a position to have vaccines for, I mean, outbreak, now diseases that are prone to outbreak, whereby the population movement will increase, will be increasing the risk.